Welcome back, friends. This practice is designed to help you just let it all go. We will use our breath and movement to find release in the body, taking a deep dive into the hips. You will shed any tension and keep the rest. Join me as we surrender to the practice. If you are ready, let's begin. Start standing at the top of your mat with your feet hip distance apart and your hands just hanging by your hips. Go ahead and find a little movement settling into your feet. And when you do settle there, shut your eyes and begin to connect to your ujjayi breath. Today, we are going to let it all go. We're going to find movement that encourages deep release. This is all within your power just by deeply paying attention to your own breath. The next inhale, sweep the arms to the sky as the eyes float open. As if someone's caught you by the wrists, stretch on your exhale, swing and release, bending the knees and letting the hands swing behind you. Inhale, swing back up. Take that little moment to be caught. Exhale, bend the knees and swing and release. Inhale, swing back up. Exhale, Bend the knees, swing and release. Inhale, swing back up. Exhale now, bend the knees, bring the hands to prayer and just trace the front of the body. With the knees bent, come to a rag doll, holding on to the opposite elbow and just swing side to side, soft knees. Enjoy this movement, encouraging release in the neck, release in the back. From your rag doll, turn your feet out slightly and drop, bend the knees, dropping the hips coming into a froggy squat or a full squat. Froggy squat, heels are off the ground. Full squat, the heels are on the ground. And just from here, you can move side to side in your squat. In your froggy squat, you can really get a lot of movement pressing one heel and then the other and really exploring this movement. And then after you get this nice movement in your squat, bring your hands to the earth and step the right foot back, bringing the right knee to the earth and turning the left foot in so that your knees are like a box or a square. And shifting the right foot to the left side of the mat so the shin is parallel to the back of the mat come on up to standing on that knee arms open wide like warrior two exhale bend the left knee bringing the hands to prayer inhaling sweep the arms to the sky as you come out of the left knee exhaling bend the knee bring the hands to prayer inhaling sweeping the arms to the sky Exhaling, bend the knee, bring the hands to prayer, and now bring the left hand to the earth and the right arm to the sky. Find a little open twist here. And sweep the right arm up and over, side stretch. And cartwheel the arms down into a half split, shifting the right heel to the back of the mat as you straighten the left leg. Inhaling here, exhaling, feeling the belly empty and just see where that breath takes you. Undulating breath, undulating movement. Releasing just a little more and a little more with each exhale. Next exhale, bend the left knee and bring this back all fours and back to child's pose. Take a deep inhale in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, let it go. From child's inhale, come on up all fours, arching through the spine, exhale round through the spine. 
Inhale, arch through the spine, gazing over the left shoulder and wag the left hip towards the left. Exhale, round through the spine, let the neck hang. Inhale, arch and look over the right shoulder, wag the right hip over to the right. Exhale, round through the spine and let the neck hang. Inhale, arch and look over the left shoulder. Now as you come to the center, keep arching chin to the sky and look over the right shoulder. Round and let the neck hang. Try this again, a big circle. Arch and look over the left. Chin to the sky, keep arching. Look over to the right and round. Now try the other side. Wag and arch to the right. Chin to the sky, keep arching over to the left and round through the spine. And wag and arch to the right. Come on up to the sky with the chin and over to the left and now round through the spine. Inhale, start to drop the hips to the sky as you bend up um, to the earth as you bend the elbows, lifting the heart and cobra. And exhale, bring it back, child's pose. As you inhale, come on up to all fours. Step the right foot forward and shift the left shin parallel to the back of the mat. Standing on the left knee, open the arms wide. Legs are in a box or a square. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer as you bend the right knee. Inhaling, open the arms wide and up to the sky. Exhaling, bend the right knee, hands to prayer. Inhaling, back out of the knee, open the arms wide, up to the sky. Exhaling, bend the knee. Bring the right hand to the earth, left arm to the sky as you inhale. And just yawn into that twist. Exhale, send the left arm up and over towards the top of the mat. And now cartwheel the arms down and shift the left heel to the back of the mat as you straighten the right leg, half splits here. And that nice undulating movement with your breath. Next exhale, bend the right knee completely and bring it back. All fours. Good. Bring the hips to the earth as you bend the elbows. Cobra. And come on up, all fours and back downward facing dog. Take your time, find any extra movement you want before you get to down dog. And in down dog, let's come on to the toes and spin the heels to the left and then spin the heels to the right. Try this again to the left and the right. Take your time, move at your pace one more time. And now bring it back, down dog. With the legs bent or the legs straight in downward facing dog, step the left foot forward coming to warrior one. Find your warrior one, whatever little wiggle you need to do here to get into it. And as you bend that left knee, the arms are to the sky, hands in prayer. Exhale, we're going to bend the right knee as we spin the left toes in. Left leg remains straight and open the arms wide in an airplane shape. Keep bending that right knee. And from here, let's inhale, turn this into warrior one on the right side. And find your little adjustments, bending the front knee. And then exhale, bend the left knee, turning the right toes in and the right leg straight. Arms open wide into your airplane shape. Bend a little more, a little bit more, coming into the hip. 
And now turn this into a lunge on the left side. Good, step it back, downward facing dog. As you bend the knees, bring them to the earth and then the hips as you lift the heart. Straighten the arms a little more, deeper cobra now. Exhale, bring it back all fours and downward facing dog. On the inhale, step the right, the left foot forward, coming to warrior two. And right from here, bend that knee just a bit more, really find it. Exhale, we're gonna turn the right toes out a little bit, coming to moon salute, hands to prayer. Try this again, inhale, send the arms up and open them as you come to warrior two. Exhale, come to moon salute. Pause in your moon salute, sitting deeply. Your right heel can be off the ground like your froggy squat. Little bit more, just really sink into the pose. And now turn this into a lunge on the right side with the left knee to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Open them wide as the elbows bend slightly and squeeze those elbows back. And now swing the hands forward and down and step it back downward facing dog. One fluid movement. Inhaling, bend the knees and bring them to the earth with the hips to the earth and the arms straight. So a upward facing dog shape and then lift the hips and the knees off the ground exhaling downward facing dog inhale step the right foot forward coming up warrior two take a moment to adjust in your warrior two and now exhale come to moon salute hands to prayer and bend that Left knee as you turn the left toes out slightly. Inhale, reach the arms up and open, warrior two. Exhale, hands to prayer, moon salute. Good, from here, sit just a little deeper. Maybe that left heel is off the ground in your moon salute. Now go ahead and rotate this into a lunge on the left side, bringing the back knee to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, open the arms wide with the elbows slightly bent. Press the chest forward. Now swing the hands forward as you step back downward, facing dog. Inhale as you drop the knees to the earth, drop the hips to the earth, straightening the arms upward, facing dog. Lift the hips and the knees off the ground and return this back home, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth of the whole thing go. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Coming up first to your warrior two and now straightening the left leg, turn the left toes in parallel to the right and open the arms wide. Turn the heels in now, and as you bend the knees, bring the hands to prayer in front of the heart. Yogi squat. Try this again. Inhale, straighten the legs, open the arms wide. Exhale, come deeper in your yogi squat, hands to prayer. And one more time, open the arms wide as you straighten the legs, exhaling, hands to prayer. Pause here, come as deep down as you can go and rock side to side a little bit letting it go coming deep into the hips and now just shift this into a lunge on the left side and step this back plank pose hold your plank for just a moment exhale come down through chaturanga all the way onto the belly you can also come down through all fours onto the belly from here, swing your or shift your hips over to the right so that the left foot is stacked on top of the right foot. And now lift the torso as you straighten the right arm. Lounging lizard. Take a hold of the left foot with the left hand and place that foot as high up to the top of the mat as you can so the knee is bent. Extend the left arm straight back. 
parallel to the earth, lounging lizard, and maybe lift the hips off the ground. Good, send the left arm up and over top of the mat. And as you bring the hips down, bring the left hand down and step this back, upward facing dog. Lift the hips and the knees, bring this back home, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank and down through your chaturanga or all fours onto the belly. Shift the hips over to the left side. And go ahead and take a hold of that right ankle, stepping the foot to the top of the mat and extending the right arm back and parallel to the earth, lounging lizard. Stay here or lift the right hip off of the ground. Feel your breath, extend the pose in all directions. Now send the right arm up and over, coming into a nice side seam stretch. And then go ahead and bring the right hand down as you step the right foot back, come to upward facing dog and bring it back home, downward facing dog. Once again, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, find your way down onto the belly. Now we'll swing the left leg out with the knee bent, coming into a half frog. So the ankle is in line with the knee, the knee is in line with the hip. Flex the left foot, make a pillow with your hands and bring the right cheek to that pillow. So it's just like a half frog leg, just exactly how it sounds. And all you have to do is breathe here, feel gravity press your pelvis and the front of the pelvis open. It's a part of the um, pelvis that can get ignored. A lot of yoga poses stretch what is called external rotation. This is more stretching our internal rotation. So breathe into the front of the pelvis, let it go. And now swing that leg back on the next exhale, just swing it back, coming to the center and swing the right knee open into half frog. And now turning the left cheek to your hands and breathing into this side again, letting the pelvis open here. And go ahead and swing that leg back down. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, find your deepest upward facing dog. Lifting the hips, lifting the knees. Bring it back home. Downward facing dog. Okay, we're ready for pigeon. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hip. And find any little movement you need here, a slight back bend, a big back bend, and swing this through into pigeon pose. Swinging the arms up to the sky, lift through the belly. Remember that feeling of that swing and release. Lift, and now just release with the arms stretched out in front of you. Five breaths here. You may use a bolster or a block to support the left hip. Sink into the earth as you breathe. Inhaling, coming on up. Exhaling, sitting into the left hip and swinging the right leg around. And now stacking left shin on top of right shin for double pigeon. If this is too much for you, then slide a pillow between your shins. I'm showing it to you right now. Flex your feet and reach the hands behind you, tenting the fingertips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold a little bit. Try it again. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold a little deeper. 
And now inhale, lift the heart and exhale, fold completely. Take two more breaths here. Ah, just a little more stretch in the back and the hips. Come on up, rolling up through the spine, and now just gently place the left foot on the outside of the right leg there for a seated spinal twist. You may straighten the right leg if that's better for you. And just hug the left knee with the right arm or any variation of that spinal twist you would like. Lifting the heart and just twisting from the middle of the spine instead of the neck. Take two more breaths here, enjoying this nice big stretch. And then go ahead and bring the foot back and step this forward into a lunge and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky and exhale, bend the knee, open the hip any yawn or movement you would like here and then go ahead and send it through to your pigeon sweep the arms to the sky big breath in feel the belly stretch exhale release and lie down five breaths here you may prop the right hip with a block or the bolster And then come on up and sit into the right hip, swinging the left leg around. And go ahead and stack the right shin on top of the left shin, ankle to knee, ankle to knee. You can slide that pillow between the legs or the knees. Reach the hands back, tenting the fingertips, lift the heart, exhale, fold a little bit. And again, lift the heart, exhale, fold a little bit more. And lastly, lift the heart. And now fold and swing the arms forward, reaching out in front of you. Two more breaths here, just enjoying double pigeon pose. Feels so good. Deep dive into the hips. Really yummy. Inhale, roll up through the spine placing the right foot on the outside of the left leg. You may straighten the left leg if you like. And now twist to the right, hugging the right knee with the left arm, right fingertips tent behind you. And find that twist in the middle of the spine. Keep that neck neutral and be gentle with it. And then coming back to the center, right from here, we're just going to place the feet out in front of us. And now placing your bolster so it makes a T with your mat. Turn yourself so you're running the length of the mat and bring your knees as wide or wider than the hips. Ankles in line with the knees and flex the feet coming into frog pose. Start to lie down on the bolster and take a few deep breaths, pressing the hips straight down. This is OM1. You may also do this without the bolster if your legs are or hips are quite flexible. And if you're all the way on the ground, you can swing the big toes towards each other. Bullfrog. OM3. Om four. Last breath, really feel the release deep in the hips, let it go. On the inhale, come back up to the hands and go ahead and sit on your seat with your feet in front of you. And lie down on your back. 
and hug the knees into the chest, walking one hip and then the other away from the floor. Take a little walk in the spine. And from here, the knees into the chest. Now bring your forehead up to your knees. Take a deep inhale and squeeze everything. Squeeze your face, your fists, your toes. Exhale, breathe out through the mouth and let everything go. Shavasana, settle in here. Slow your breath down and feel everything release into the ground. Take the next few breaths to truly let it go. Feel the earth hold you, relaxing your legs and your feet, your whole spine and torso, arms and hands, and neck and shoulders, and lastly your head and the features of your face. Let it all go. From here, take a deep inhale all the way in and exhale, breathe out through the mouth. Rolling to one side and find your way all the way up, seated on the heels, sweep the arms back, around and up to the sky, bring the hands to prayer in front of the heart. I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you for sharing your beautiful practice with me. And I will see you next time for our next yoga practice. Please share any practices you would like in the future. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to stay informed of new content. Let me know what practice you would like next in the comments below.